What's up guys and welcome back our YouTube fishing family to AFNS Outdoors. I'm Justin Lewis and we are stuck in the garage today which normally I would not be overly happy about because it is raining outside, we've got thunderstorms, it's super windy, super cold. But the great thing about that today is I got something in the mail. Today's video is going to be a comprehensive review of what is in this box. So, here's a little bit of a backstory. Last year, I got absolutely hooked, absolutely hooked on a new style of fishing that I'd never gotten to do before. It is putting away the bass gear, getting away from the big rods, and getting into all of this awesomeness over here that is the sport of ice fishing. Never got to do it growing up in Kansas, moved up here to Iowa and got to go out for the first time last season and I am absolutely hooked. The downside though was that I had to go out and I, I went crazy. I bought a lot of stuff last year, but what I did not do is I did not invest in a very good ice shack. In fact, I've got a little one up here and the one thing that I probably should have spent a little bit more money on is probably the least expensive thing in my entire ice fishing collection, um, which was the shack. It's like a glorified turkey blind is really what it is. And I'm not even sure it's a glorified version. It's just, it was very little. There was not a lot of space. Um, it did serve its purpose. I enjoyed it immensely. But this year, it was time. So we have fully committed to the sport of ice fishing and we are going to be going out a ton. I hope you guys are looking forward to those videos. But today's video is going to be a full comprehensive review of our new ice shack. So this is a product video guys. And this is, I'm not sponsored by anyone when it comes to this ice fishing stuff other than our Vexen rods because a Vexen does make awesome ice rods. So this was purchased by me at full retail cost, not even a discount or anything here. Just went out and this is one thing that, um, if you guys know me, bigger purchases, I do a ton of research on. So in my opinion, this was the best, best fit ice shack for me and maybe on the market in my opinion. So here's what we got. We got us a Clam Elite Series. So this is the Jason Mitchell Elite Series, the Thermal X. This thing is still in here, it just got delivered. The delivery company called me up and they're like, hey, we've got a pallet for you. And I was like, what do you mean you've got a pallet for me? They're like, yeah, it looks like you ordered a big box and it's on this giant pallet. It's like 175 pounds, we got it in the semi, what should we do with it? And I'm like, okay, we got it here, we got it in the garage. This is what we gotta do. I've gotta get it out, I've gotta build it, and as we go through, I will tell you why I bought this one, why I think it's the best for me, and the awesome features that this Jason Mitchell series has to offer. So, that's what today's video is, guys. As always, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos out for you guys every single Thursday. We don't do a lot of product reviews, but this is one that I think is worth the time. If you have a question, want to talk to us, hit us up in the comments below. We do get back to you guys. At this point, it's time for the epic montage. Look at that parts list. <laughs> yeah. guys so without any further ado I finally got this done it took from opening the box to this completed state about two and a half hours or so um, to really get this thing together and finished including putting the weather stripping on getting that molding around and then screwing it all in through the fabric 
but it is now done. So here we go, guys. So this is the travel cover that it's on. This is the entire size of the sled. For reference, it's, you know, about six feet or so. So I chose this sled because it was only about 75 pounds. Um, I looked at some of the other ones like the otters and stuff and they were a little bit more, even up to like that 120 pound range. Um, I pull this thing. I don't use an ATV. I pull this um, until I can drive the truck on the ice. And I am a very, very skeptical of ice person. Um, I don't believe that any ice is completely safe. Um, I don't drive on the ice if there's even a thought in my mind that it may not be safe. I wait until that ice is super, super thick. Um, and I have seen other people driving on it for probably weeks before I will drive on it personally. Um, I just don't think it's worth it. I'm not going to go through the ice um, just to go out for a day of fishing. So the travel cover itself just has clips on either side. Um, that tighten down so there's three clips that fasten All right, so as you guys can see the travel cover is now off This is what this shack looks like in its collapsed form. I have not tucked in You can kind of tuck in the fabric a little bit nicer than we did here. Um, we just kind of put it together Right at the end um, because it was getting hot It was getting very hot working inside of the shack and everything velcroed and stripped down so as you guys can see, it comes with two very nice seats. There's a lot of room in there for all my extra gear. So let's get this thing popped up. All right. So setting this thing up is pretty simple. Um, all you really have to do is grab the first pole. This is the porch, if you will, and get it laid out. And then the rest of it just comes straight up. So inside, there's some poles that expand to raise, obviously, the roof of this up, um, and they lock into place. I will show you guys those as soon as I get this up. All right, spread the curtain out so you guys can see that. There we go. All right. Okay, so here it is, guys. Um, obviously, garage lighting is not the best, but. You can get a feel for it. Um, here's the scale. So I am, I'm 6'4". Um, I'm not a small person, so it is taller than I am. It's like 6'6 six, six in there. I can stand up, no issues whatsoever. It has a very large front door, which is great getting stuff through there. Curtain's real nice. Um, the exterior of this, I love. I love the, uh, the camo, the, essentially the ice camo on it. It has a rear door, which I really do like. I like having that rear access um, so I can sneak out the back or set stuff out the side if I need to. Um, these zippers on these are super heavy duty. I love the zippers um, and how well it seals. It's got, you know, um, has a window on each side. It's got a window, on, two windows on the back. So very, very nice. Um, this is what I was talking about with this molding. This is the hardest thing to get on is this black molding that it goes around here. Um, but it's what keeps the fabric tight um, and keeps the porch hoop, um, the very front of this, um, exactly where it needs. So it just barely touches the ground um, when you lower it down. So this thing is kind of hard to get on, but it is done extremely well. This is the one thing that this shack does not have. I will talk about the fact that this curtain does not tuck under the tent once we get inside. So, lots of space inside. I wish I had the light hooked up. I wonder if I can find a battery. I don't know if I have a battery. 
Okay, so I just turned on the light so you guys can see inside a lot better. So um, this is the main door. It's got a window on it. And there's a second window on the front as well right here. So when this is open, you guys can see that this thing is absolutely awesome on the inside. And that's why I bought this one. I love the heavy fabric. This is a 900 denier fabric. Um, there is an Otter one that goes up to 1200, but honestly, even in my little shack that I had for last year with um, it being relatively uninsulated, I have a super awesome heater and I know this thing is gonna keep us extremely warm this winter. So I don't think anything over this 900 is really needed, but also we're in Iowa. We're not in like upper Canada or something where it's ridiculously cold. Here's the super awesome light bar that already comes installed on it. So this light bar comes with this ice shack, which is another reason that I loved it. It's already got it. I've got the wiring um, temporarily just ran down and I have my flasher hooked up. So it's running off that battery for the moment, um, which obviously won't be the case. It does have that I have not hooked up yet. It has some additional accessories that I haven't put on. This is a battery holder for that light. It's got a little minnow bucket and then like a little center console that you can put in between the two seats um, to hold some drinks, food, whatever, lures and stuff. So this thing looks really cool lit up through the windows. As far as the construction goes, guys, um, this is another reason I went with this shack. I like the round poles better. The otters have the square tubes that I'm not as big of a fan of. For me, I can use these a lot more for filming um, because I can clip my GoPro mounts and stuff straight to this. So I like these, they're, they're heavy duty. I mean, they're still, they're still plastic, but they're relatively heavy duty. It's just one button, it'll collapse these. There are spreader poles, so I just opened this up. So you guys can see, I just got these spreader poles hooked up. There's one for the back, and then there's two for the top and then one for the front. And that just keeps everything in here just really nice, tight and secure. There's no drooping on like your headliner and stuff. And then for reference, here I am seated. This is, I can literally just reach up. I've got long monkey arms, guys. There's a ton of room in here. I can just barely touch the top. So lots and lots of space, which is why I love this thing so much. Um, as far as compartments, we have two things in netting, two in front of the anglers and two behind the anglers, so four nets. And then there is a large overhead cargo net as well. So lots of space. And then with the sled itself, I mean, there's a ton of space in here. I did weeks and weeks of research. This is what I finally decided on because it meets my needs extremely well. I am a tall person, but I can stand up entirely in this thing. And I'm just barely at the top, which for all of you tall guys out there, you know, after sitting down for a while, it's nice to stand up and stretch. And in this case, I don't have to go outside to do it anymore. So I like the overall amount of space that is in here. These seats are super comfortable. They spin, they rotate, and they slide. They will slide forwards and backwards and side to side. So that if I drill my hole and I'm just off of it a little further than I wanted to be, I don't have to readjust the entire sled in the tent. I can just readjust the seat. Um, if I have, you know, a co-person fishing, I'll have a secondary seat. If not, honestly, the only thing you have to do is you pull this pin this whole seat will come out and I can leave it at home if I need to, if I know I'm not going to be fishing with anybody so that there's ample, ample space in here for, you know, pulling those all nighters, trying to find them big old walleyes that come out at night. So I love this thing guys. Um, the one thing that this does not have that one of the otters did. So I was looking at the pro version of the otters as well. What it did have was on the inside, it had, the carpet or this trim piece that came all the way in front of here. So I don't know how much, honestly, air you can kind of see the outside right there. I don't think that's going to matter too much um, because for me, I do kick up when possible. I kick as much snow up around this thing so that the wind isn't blowing it around and that that cold breeze isn't getting through. 
but this one does not have that extra piece of fabric down there along the sled um, like the other one does. I'm loving this thing at the moment. I mean, it is warm in here right now. Don't get me wrong, because it's like, it's warmed up a little bit outside and just sitting in here. It's well insulated, guys. It is well insulated. Um, from this point of view, again, you have 30 square feet of fishable space in here. Uh, 27 or 30 square feet. So we'll just say 30 square feet and make it easy. Um, realistically, punching four holes in here isn't too bad. For me, it's gonna be punching a couple holes and then setting up camera gear. I'm gonna have all kinds of room for camera gear, which is gonna bring some better shots and better footage for you guys. And, you know, I find filming all of it very, very entertaining. So it's gonna be a good time. Other than that, I think you guys are probably interested in seeing how fast this thing collapses. So we're gonna do this real quick in real time to the best of my ability <laughs> because I've only done this once. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and collapse this as quickly as I can while still maintaining good care of it um, because that's one thing is I really wanna take good care of this. This thing is gonna last me years. So you guys can get a feel for how long it would take to collapse. I still have all of the support bars, everything is in there. So I'm gonna take those out. So it's gonna take me a second on the inside and then we'll collapse it, put the travel cover on and we'll be good to go. Gotta close up all the windows. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. Pins. and it's collapsed so personally I come back I try to tuck as much of that in so I'm not dragging extra fabric that I don't want to be doing and then it's just a matter of putting the cover on So, other than that guys, there's a couple clips to hook up and we're done. That's how fast I can pick this thing up and move. And the really nice thing for me is, is I'm not trying to shove a tent back into a separate case, collapsing all of the walls, trying to load that into a sled that I leave outside, auger everything else loading up outside, all of it can stay inside nice and warm, ready to use. And I'm just pulling one thing around. So it's gonna be awesome. I think there's one thing I forgot to mention is that there are two air vents right at the top of the roof to let air flow in. So honestly guys, this is probably one of the things that I'm looking forward to most right now is, you know, I'm still enjoying fall fishing. Don't get me wrong. We're still, we're still catching some big fish, but I'm ready for ice season so that I can get this stuff out give it a try um, because I think this this is gonna allow me to stay out longer push a little bit harder stay a little bit more organized it's gonna be a little less work for me a little less physical effort even though it is a bigger sled um, 
that I'm gonna enjoy ice fishing so much this year. So, as always guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know product reviews aren't normally my thing, but this was one that I was super excited about and I think this might help give you guys a better understanding. And this one had the most features that I liked. Honestly, I think it's the best one and the best choice for me. So hopefully you guys found something in here that you might use. Um, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to share my opinion or my thoughts or give you guys some more information about these. And of course, once we come around to winter, I'm gonna be giving you guys more views of this because we're gonna use this all winter long and I believe it's gonna last me years and years. So as always guys, thank you for watching. It is greatly appreciated. Remember, we have new videos out every single Thursday. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time right here on AFNS Outdoors. Take care guys.